everybody. Welcome to Psychic Nerds 81, surrounded by all my friends here, lively discussions in the green room. Uh, we have David, Tarzan, Law Shaker. I'm a U of M fan. We have Han, the Gibson Slayer there. We have uh, Barefoot Doc. We have Didi. We have Bliss, Purple Roads, Human Avatar, and then the Ghost Santino down there in the right. Um, interesting week in crypto. Uh, first of all, I guess uh, I'll start off by saying, how are you guys doing? I'm having a good week, uh, feeling less drained this week. Last week was I was kind of a mess. Um, not feeling really good, not sleeping really well, past all that, feeling great. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Okay. My Still got jet lag. Better ride. today? Better today than yesterday? So Wait, we're up only. <laughs> we're up only so what happens on uh april 16th what do we got what kind of moon we got happening on april 16th we got a full moon in uh, libra moon. <laughs> so, so tell me what this means barefoot am i gonna grow hair and uh, run around like a werewolf or <laughs> am i safe only if you're lucky <laughs> only if you go to the club tomorrow it's only on a blue moon <laughs> For those like, that don't bro, know, bro, hair. Come yeah. on now. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll take it anywhere I can get it. I think yeah. um, you can get some from me, Moo. <laughs> um, for for people that don't know, if you're not a psychic nurse, uh, it, David runs this wonderful thing with help uh, from a few others from time to time. It's called Club 14. It's this wonderful place where you can go and hang out. Um, you can do, you know, listen to music. Um, he's got some interesting playlists. Some other people have submitted playlists, right, David? But you're kind of the guest star DJ there. And uh, lots of talking, lots of music, uh, sometimes drinking. Um, and people just hanging out. Uh, and it's a fun place to, to be um, for a lot of us. That's Saturday night. Um, and then there's also a wonderful coffee chat that occurs uh, Sunday mornings for a lot of us, um, which a lot of people uh, like get together and nurse their hangovers and uh, also have a chat yeah. i was i was really excited this week i saw two of you wonderful ladies um start your own thing and this was really cool and i i forgot this until just now but barefoot you and you and queen started doing this wonderful thing um i forgot the name of it though what is it uh queenie and the dock <laughs> queenie and the dock um i thought it was something so about did... nutters or something yeah, oh yeah, the brave nutters. The brave nutters. <laughs> brave I love nutters. it. But um, also, Shaker mm -hmm. and Bliss have done the same thing. They've oh, have seen videos. that. Yeah. So, yeah is I was, was going to mention that one as well. So, so Bliss is the other wonderful woman that I'm talking about, and uh, her and Lost, uh, that gentleman over there, um, they've started their thing. And the, what what is your guys' thing called? The Free State of Bliss. Free State of Bliss. So <laughs> these are available currently on youtube uh so you guys can go out and watch those uh i watched both of them i thought they were really great and i'm really glad you guys are like doing stuff this is this is cool uh and fostering more communication and exploration and uh letting people get a, a peek in a little bit into uh your lives your thoughts and some things that are interesting uh to you and i, I just thought they both shows were great and i can't wait to see more so i kind of wanted to say that so, um, and they, they don't cost anything right now. So if you want to go check these out on YouTube, please do and subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, uh, I just have. <laughs> Good. Way to go, Chip. I just found it. <laughs> Only one episode so far. Yeah, that's it. I've got it. I'll watch that later. If you're a Psychic Nerds member, uh, you're entitled to, uh, we have two different uh, membership levels there. There's a $12 that gets you access to the weekly crypto review uh, with Sam and I, a recorded version of that. It gets you access to our Discord, our Patreon, um, which is great. Lots of good information up there. Lots of good people up there. If you're a $25 member, it entitles you to a lot more things. Uh, one of those being a... Um, uh, gaming live stream that Drill and Phil and I have been doing uh, once a week, really good to try and get a handle on some of this metaverse NFT and gaming stuff, set people up for the next week about what's coming so they don't miss anything. And also our experiences playing these games. Uh, and then Santino and I typically have been doing over this last month or so, been doing these uh, market updates on Tuesdays, um, which are really good. And uh, those, those are kind of fluid when him and I have time. Uh, but they're kind of nice to give people some insight and they're usually pretty short, uh, 30 minutes or so, um, just to kind of 
uh, let people know what's going on with the markets and our thoughts. Um, I don't know if I missed anything else, but I'll stop the commercials now. Um, if you're not a Psychic uh, Nerds member, I wish you were. And uh, if you're only getting this free sampler on YouTube, I hope you enjoy it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just reading the chat. Uh, so anyway, back to, uh, so in the green room, we were talking about this, these interesting things. Uh, there's lots of regulation going on. If anybody's been paying attention uh, yesterday and the day before in the United States, is trying to reclassify this idea of exchange. What's an exchange? Is a developer an exchange? Someone that writes a smart contract that can do an exchange in exchange? Is a wallet to a wallet exchange? Um, so this is kind of interesting, kind of annoying. This is where we're going to. But in the green room, we were kind of talking about uh, the EU. Han was kind of taking the lead here, talking about uh, this idea that the, the EU uh, and and what they are considering uh, as far as wallet registrations for transactions. Han, you want to start us off? Yeah, um, it, I, I read the article today. That I'll put it in the Discord later. That they want to uh, have wallets by a third party, so that you're not. Um, you don't have your private keys anymore because they, they didn't want to allow them. And that was a, a proposal. And Tarzan mentioned that uh, even if this regu so is this regulation en enacted now? Was it approved? No, that, that, that's a proposal for, for reg regulation in the EU. So that would be the, yeah, uh, a bit an, an end of uh, free crypto uh, for a lot of people because um, they, they're going to do the, the stuff that every transaction that's above a thousand uh, euros or dollars that you have to uh, uh, put all your uh, uh, your name and your yeah you know, or you uh, do you know name it uh, KYC KYC and, and, and who you're paying to as well yeah and and um, now uh, that's that's what they want to give to the third parties like banks and like the, the crypto uh, exchanges that already have the, the custody that they can do that. And then Tarzan, you mentioned if this does go through, it's like uh, they have a couple years, right, to uh, exchanges to, to kind of comply with this regulation. Like This was like a week or two weeks ago that there was an EU regulation that I do believe was passed. Uh, at that time, though, it was a it wasn't going to happen immediately. It was like 2024 until it went into effect. The full the full weight of the legislation. Well, geez, we'll be eyeballs deep in central bank digital currency by then, won't we? Yeah, yeah. So many things yeah. will change as Didi is. A, the a second central bank digital currency by then. <laughs> Maybe the third. Maybe the third, yeah. <laughs> We'll probably all be out of cryptos by then. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be neck, neck deep in we're, silver coin. We, 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 we will own that, the banks. That on that. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we oh. need a psychic nerd bank, I guess. <laughs> now there's an idea, hon. Oh my We're going to need more crypto. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll have a psychic nerd truck uh, company competing with Brinks and uh, <laughs> transporting <laughs> silver. We'll do a crypto and silver only bank. How about that? Yeah. Uh, you'll use TARS and all those guns as a guard. Yeah, I'll, I'll drive for a fee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll drive to. <laughs> it is kind of Ma Mad Max trucks with uh, guns blazing on them. <laughs> uh, wear that big Texas belt buckle. Tarzan? Uh, I, I'll just be Big holding teeth. that, you know, I, I don't have it with me. Y'all seen it. The, the, my knife. I'll have my knife on. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, let's bring this discussion back. It was getting pretty lively in the green room about these, these regulations, about these classifications, about having to disclose who and what you're sending, why you're sending it. Uh, wallet registrations, uh, HA got into some digital identities, things that are definitely coming. Um, Let's, let's go ahead. Keep going. Let's let's pretend we're not being recorded. And let's be free. Okay. I noticed we hit the record button and everybody goes. Uh -huh. Well, don't you think there's going to be an overreach, right? They're going to want to know everything about everybody until people start to 
you know, move to different countries or the people with the money, you know, relocate to Portugal or other, other areas that are more crypto friendly. And as this happens, you'll, you'll start to see, uh, as pushback happens, they'll, it'll normalize to what they can get away with. That's how I feel. Well, we have seen in other countries when they've clamped down on cryptos that the money's gone elsewhere and they've changed their tune. So, yeah. yeah they'll, they'll probably try and prevent the capital flight first. And when that doesn't work, because we're all very intelligent people and know how to do workarounds, they'll have to, um, you know, reconsider, I think. And we'll, we'll all be in <clears throat> El Salvador. <laughs> but the European Union um, is uh, now starting to wind back on a lot of the golden visa programs that attract very wealthy people into the European Union in various countries. Um, I think Malta's, I just read somewhere Malta was easing back on cancelling one of its, its golden visas um, and a few other places as well. And they, they seem to be more interested in, I mean, the very, very rich people, um, you'd think they'd want to track them in because they'll get, you know, they'll proportionately get more money off them, even though they, you know, the percentage might be lower. Um, maybe they want people, more people, to attract people of a lower wealth and that they can control more. That's my guess. I think that the number one uh, reason why people um, invest in crypto, and if this is when we're looking at things that without the motive of the greed, it's because, and I'm sure that we share that a lot in the psychic nerds, it's because people found out that they don't want to be a part of the monetary system that exists. So when does the, when the monetary system uh, 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 suggest some rules and regulations, I think that the people, especially that it's related to crypto, the people that do not believe in the system anymore or less likely to believe in the system anymore, they're pretty much not going to be comply with that. And they're going to try a different options and in a different countries because crypto is something so big and it's pretty much not only bringing the change in the money, but I think it's bringing the change in the state of mind of people as well. So when yeah. people are changing their mind, not only about the money, but actually their state of mind that they're saying, I'm no longer a believer in this system. This system might be corrupted. There is like this money print and it's not ending. I think it's less likely the the legislation be able to have a compliance in the same level that they had before. So I think I also the the, um, the 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 percentage of people that are freedom lovers in the crypto market was a large percentage a, a, a few couple of years ago and um, before that when it was just a retail market and just the, the you know the, the tech people and so on and the freedom people. But increasingly now, um, because institutions are coming into crypto and it's becoming the new thing, um, that freedom loving people is a, is becoming a smaller percentage of the pie actually. So. Um, they may still disappear, but the crypto legislation itself may stay in some of these places because it's more about institutions. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of taking the other side here. You know, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but uh, it's a possibility. It is but I think that right now, the people that involve in crypto, they do have influence. They do have a lot, a lot of money and money is just another tool of getting control in in this world that we live in. And when people have that amount of money, the regulations, not they're gonna try to do obviously whatever they can, but they're not necessarily gonna succeed because if a lot of the money gonna walk away, they're gonna feel like they're missing something, especially yeah. if people, it's the next thing, which obviously all of us believe it is. So I don't think it's gonna be a smooth ride. They're obviously going to try to get as much yeah. as they can. They're going to try to gain as much control. Uh, but I think that we're going to see some other countries offering different type of incentive, very attractive incentives. And when the money going to flow out, the country going to come back and say, hmm, let's give it a little bit more thinking. Let's adjust our terms and conditions. Uh, so... Nothing is pretty much final right now. Even the big titles that we currently hear, I think that there will be a lot of adjustment to come. Yeah, I, by the way, I agree with 
Didi on that, that the environment we see now is going to drastically change in the next two years. No one can know with any certainty exactly what it's going to look like. But what history has taught us, and this isn't Santino saying this, this is just facts. Um, freedom can be bought and sold. Everybody talks about freedom, uh, but it's nonsense. Uh, at the end of the day, it can be bought and sold and treated. Freedom becomes a commodity. So um, these large central banks, these large institutions, you know, the people that we see as the bad guys now will incentivize you to come on board and they're going to make it worth your while. There's going to be a competition for the crypto rich. So that's where we're going. And why is that? Because the banks are going to move from treating crypto like it's a threat or something that we need to tax to something that we need, to something that we desperately need. Uh, and that, I suspect that that shift is going to happen in the next couple of years. You're seeing it in the comments of Janet Yellen, right? Uh, right. You just look at her comments. Just go back and see what her comments have been like. Just And the change that she's undergone for the administration. I mean, she's the mouthpiece for the administration in the last year. That's only yeah, happened but, in one year, right? The banks want to be the, the third party that, that uh, checks your KYC so they can get a piece of the pie. People will sell their freedom for, to be incentivized. There's a lot of true freedom loving people and God love them. And, and I know that they're out there and I would put myself in that camp as well. Uh, but in the end, uh, they're just gonna make it too lucrative for people to come on board. Um, it's just that simple. And people will always go where the money is. I agree with Santino. And I think that if we're gonna look right now, people already sell their freedom. We accept the terms of conditions of every data collecting type of website uh, for our convenient, if it's with our cell phone or social medias, and they know a lot on us, but we're pretty much give it away for this conveniency. So I agree with Santino on that. And a lot of- so It's a commodity. It's a commodity, Guys, freedom's a commodity. Which is it? Is it that everybody's going to fly to the most favoring country or that they're going to sell themselves for the freedom of, of commodity? I'm hearing two different things and they're conflicting. And you're not, I actually think that you're going to see it all. I don't think that it's going to be one way or the other. That's I what I was waiting to chime I, in. There's, even an individual is going to have a spectrum of positions. They're going to be, they're going to have their digital currencies and their KYC seed so on and they might have a little bit of something buried in the ground you know and maybe maybe it's a monero in a private wallet or something you know that the silver government and doesn't know about so it might one person could be a spectrum of all that and i, I had think two we, points um, i wanted to make if i can interject real quick please Num number one yeah. you know i don't want a kyc like everybody else i would like to you know have a little more anonymity and freedom but it encourages me that somebody at a higher level even knows that you can exchange from wallet to wallet. Like what they're saying sounds like an intelligent conversation that I kind of haven't heard. Like the SEC doesn't know what's going on here. So at least it seems like an intelligent step, like somebody at the top somewhere maybe does have a little crypto knowledge and kind of knows some of the things that we know. And if, you know, if we were running the show, we would certainly be saying some of the stuff they're saying because it would be our job to say, do you know you can do this? Do you know you can do that? Like, do you know what you can really do? It's a little bit more than just Coinbase, right? And then number two, we, we are all freedom loving people. So we were okay buying it, a lot of us before other people and, and other people have told us that we're crazy for a long time. A lot of people will not come in until there's more regulations and the KYC and the regulations and the set in stone that, that somebody is gonna track everything and tell you how much you owe for whatever transactions where we won't like it, some other people will actually make them feel comfortable investing in it because now they know everything and now it's set and now and now that makes it legitimate. And we so want them in the space, really. Sides, right? Yeah, we want them in the space as well. Right. Well. Well, because it's H more liquidity, H isn't it? HA wants them to sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we want them in the space so there comes more money in the space. Well, they could be one over, maybe. I think but, that we're talking about freedom, and I think freedom is very relative. Because Blee said, I want my freedom. I'm not going to get my KYC. And I'm actually going to get my KYC 
from another reason, because I want freedom. I want to, I don't want to be subject to all these restrictions. So yeah, I'm choosing to comply with some of the things in order to have my freedom for me, for my family, for my funds. So it's all very relative. And I think that we get, we're gonna see a lot of different type of system coming out. It's pretty much when we're taking a certain type of system out of the equation, there is an opportunity for a lot of things to come. And I don't know what's gonna be the winning system uh, that's gonna be dominant, but I'm, I think that there will be a few. So this and is the good things. Go ahead, bud. The good things will be co-opted by, by central institutions. That's always been that way. And mm -hmm. so now when you are faced, if you're just a simple person, um, who has been fortunate enough you know, to have some wisdom and be in this space from the early days, and suddenly you're faced with a choice of, I can be working inside of this system, making a lot more money, or I can stay where I am, a bit sketchier, I'm freer, but I just, you know, the risk reward isn't as, isn't as good. Most people are going to choose, go with the money. They just are. That's the reality of human beings. That's why I say freedom is a commodity for most people, right? This is interesting. So it's an interesting dichotomy. We are talking about freedom, and yet we have two different viewpoints here. And I'm, I'm going to make some assumptions, you guys. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. But uh, uh, Didi, what you're saying is you, you will welcome this because you want to use these digital assets in a, in a more traditional way, right? You want to be able to borrow against them. You want to be able to lend them out. You want to be able to use them as collateral. You don't want to uh, be asked 50,000 questions about where did this came from? Why do you have this? Um, you would like to use these assets in a more traditional way as we move forward, right? Yeah, and I do want to accumulate other assets as well. I would like to get out of crypto for other things as well. So, so you're... You're very interested in real estate. So I'm sure real estate is something that you want to be able to use these cryptos for in, in, a, in a very seamless way, right? You want right. to be able, yeah. So I get that. Uh, Bliss, uh, you're saying that you would, you would prefer to have, uh, you would shy away from the KYC, you would prefer to have individual sovereignty. Oh, okay, no, I'm sorry. No, not for me personally, but I can see it from both sides. I'm with mm -hmm. Didi more. All my stuff is KYC. I really liked that when... I did something because I accidentally was signed into Coinbase when I put a VPN on my machine. Don't, don't reveal and, too much. Yeah. 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 And well, I, I, I pinged like I was in Singapore for a minute. <laughs> and because I was in Coinbase and I had it open, they immediately closed my account, closed me down. So my screen got shut and then I couldn't get back in. I was blocked. So I called in the 1-800 number, which I'm paying $29.99 a month for to test it out. And I was really happy with my service. The first guy that I got said, um, because I still have had a Coinbase mm -hmm. account for so long, it was actually a company account. So I have to go back in and change the name because under the name, it doesn't say me. It says the company. Right. So he had to push my ticket up because it's a business account, but it's not. <laughs> so, you know, I just haven't ever cleaned it up. And it, was, it wasn't easy to clean up before. I had to go through a process. I had to send emails. Now I went and looked on the screen and I was like, dude, do I really just click on the screen and upload my license and change it. And then somebody verifies it. How long will that take? And he was like, oh, because of this service, if it takes more than five minutes, you just call me back. And I was like, great. You know, so he said, I'm going to put a ticket in. You'll get an email right away. And then five minutes went by and I didn't get a copy. I didn't get an email. And uh, so I called back. I'm like, well, I'll just call the wedding number again. And I got a different guy who was a little more knowledgeable, but again, I have a ticket now escalating. And, and as we're talking for about 10 minutes and I tell him, this is what I think I did. And I appreciate that if Coinbase for some reason thought someone in Singapore had just hacked into my account, I appreciate that you guys closed it. I'm not upset whatsoever. I'm not upset that I'm blocked because I realized what I did. I so made it felt, look like a hacker was in my account. So you felt like uh, with these, with these, uh, these, with this oversight, you felt like uh, you felt more protected because if it yes. was a nefarious actor, yes. uh, you at least they, had a little bit they of They would have been shut out of my account it, immediately. It, that it would may have been caught. So that's great. Right. So who here would take the other side? Who here would take the, the other side and say, you know what, human beings decide what value is. Um, whether I can cash out to another asset, be it real estate, fiat, whatever, I don't care. Uh, I think this thing is, its value is derived from human beings and personal sovereignty and deciding what these things are valued. 
how valuable the block space is because there's there's people that interact with cryptos at a building level that that's how they think of it they think of the block space as being the value not a price at an exchange um <sighs> Well, even regardless of price, how do I call a help desk to get help and prove that it's mine if I haven't KYC'd it? If I'm having a problem with an exchange or anything else, if I haven't KYC'd it, and, and you know, how do I really prove that it's mine to get the help if I accidentally get locked out or something? Uh, some people would welcome that level of help, and some people it turns their stomach. Right. So, so, Bliss, you're, you're talking about two different things, Bliss. Yeah. You're talking about an account versus your crypto. The account, I get, and I fully support that. Crypto, not so much. I'm more with Moo on the value is in the chain, not I, in I some regular. It. I get it. I can just see, I can see where people would, where some people want one and some people want both the other, and some people want a combination of both. You know, I have That's a checking account where I have money in the bank. That doesn't mean I don't have any cash in my wallet. A lot of times so, as builders, we have to place value on the chain and on the block space, right? Otherwise, why the hell build? Why the hell do anything? It, it, I equate it to um, what is the value of Miami Swampland, right? And, there was a developer thinking, that looked at that land and decided that it had value, right? I'm thinking about the people that aren't so savvy. You know what I mean? If, I, if I'm helping somebody get in and they're not really savvy – and they, they're not really a computer person and they're not really, then I kind of like that there's going to be, there's going to be a help desk and it's, it's under their name. Cause then they can get at it. Like, you know, my grandma that's putting money. I understand. In, she, I get you it. Know? I get it. So you want, but I yeah, want this to we're be, a little more. Well, it's not, we are, or we are not. I'm sure we're all in various spots on the spectrum and depending on the day or the weather or who we're talking about, who it could benefit or be detrimental to, we probably can be very fluid and, and move around a little bit. So go ahead, Tarzan. You'll take the I, other I, side. I want both. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want I, I'm I'm more wild of the Wild West. Okay. There was banks in the Wild West, but they got robbed, but they had they had <laughs> people guarding them. Okay. But I want the ability to I want I want it all. Okay. I don't want a nanny. I do not want a nanny. I don't want to be told what I have to do. What well, do you feel How like you, your bank now is a nanny? Yes. Yes. Do you feel like when, when you're um, transferring cash privately to your neighbor for some lettuce, uh, do you feel like that is a nanny? No, see, I, I, I like the part that we still have cash, and I want that incorporated into the crypto space. I want to be able to pay another party that agrees with me that they would take that for goods and services or just uh, between the two of you no one else it, yeah it's my it's their business and my business they own it now i own it and so i give the, them what they want so where the regulation what i want where the regulation seems to be falling now is that that's that would still be allowed uh it, Yes. But you may have to, depending how you pay them or what you're paying them for, or the amount, you may have to say what it's for, how it's going yeah, to see, be. See, then that takes it completely out of that realm. That's not cash anymore. That's not a private transaction. That's them making me, that's them making me tell them that I'm buying something from somebody else and I got to tell them who I'm buying it from and what I'm paying well, for it and the whole thing. That's why they're trying to get rid of cash, you know, because cash is on the way out because they the governments can't see what's going on and they don't like it. We have legislators in the United States that are standing up for cash and they want legislation written, you know, that keeps cash or, or a cash equivalent in the system. And I want that as well. And I don't want to be dinged or dogged or doxxed or anything because I want to take some of my value and 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 take and give it to someone else for anything and it doesn't matter what it is they ain't got no you know in my world the government has no right to interfere with an, an action between me and another person i'm on okay. team tarzan i'm on team tarzan so, well, well we want uh, everyone everyone's, everyone's we want everyone's phone, everyone's phone to have a monero wallet on it 
That's the answer. They, they're going to yeah. say, I want a system. You, I want a system. Go ahead, Santino. Uh, all I need is the wider system, the broader system to create rules of law that we can operate with it. Not to regulate us into the next fucking century. Like, not to regulate us into the dirt. They need to find a balance to do that. But those systems that freedom lovers talk about that created, even in the early days, and I was there in the early days, they would not have been created without capital. That capital came from legacy markets, came from legacy institutions. So they need each other. So it's not a binary decision, one or the other. You, you do need both. I'm with Tarzan on this. That's just the, that's just the only way it's going to work. So let me but, stir the pot a little bit. Go, go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go. Uh, yeah. So let me stir the pot a little bit. So lost. Tarzan says he wants to keep his Federal Reserve notes. He wants to keep them. He wants to be able to use them. He wants to be able to pass them around. He wants the ability to be able to transact and not have it recorded onto a ledger. I, I know. I, I, I don't care what it's called. I want the val. I want my value. It can be called anything. It can be come from anywhere. It can so be issued spe- by any any entity. So you <laughs> weren't specifically speaking a fiat or a Federal Reserve note. No. No. Are, are, are you talking about a digital ledger? Could be. I want anything and everything that human beings come up with together and want to exchange value with to be legal and lawful and unfuckable with. <laughs> I don't want nobody messing with me. I love you, dude. What we need is the privacy coins not to be outlawed, then. That's the answer. I, mean, you want, you, I, wanna, I, mean, there's, there's I want the... to say a certain type of reality of regulations. I am a driver. I'm driving a car. I want the road to be paved. I want the road to be safe. But is that means that that the government going to own the car and tell me where to go left and right? No. But I obviously would like to have the road paved for me so I can... I understand why the exchange, for example, they request KYC, and I'm completely fine with that. The only thing that I'm not too fine with that, it's when they're getting under the skin, when they want the private keys or say no private keys. This is where it's starting to be a little bit scary. Well, the nice thing really about the Wild West was that it really showed that law doesn't come, well, even regulations doesn't necessarily have to come from government, right? Because we have common law. And the wonderful thing about blockchain is that we have smart contracts where we can, you know, now code that common law with all of the transactions along the way. And it really allows for a more uh, voluntary system where all the KYC and the regulations, it can be achieved through voluntary means, not by government mandate. What's interesting to me is we're having this conversation around KYC as if Bitcoin was created by the other side. Like the, 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 the people that are against 